I've been getting a lot of good shots with my drone. I've uh, crashed the Sparrow 1 into a grain elevator. <laughs> DJI Mini 2 and I've been having a lot of fun with it. Did a shoot last night at the covered bridge in Westmont Rose again and when I got home I had an issue with the files. I pulled the SD card out as normal and put it on the computer and four of the five files were there and playable but the fifth file was not playable so like any normal drone operator I pulled the SD card out, put it back in the drone and uh, I thought, while well, I'm doing it, I might as well do the DJI firmware update. So I executed that. And when uh, I go to pull the SD card out, thinking that activated the file, the card was unreadable on my computer. Tried it on my MacBook. I tried it on my PC laptop. I put it back in the drone. And I got the dreaded uh, SD card not recognized error and the little phone symbol showed up in the uh, on the record button on the app and uh, that tells you that there's an SD card error. So I tried a bunch of things and I'm not going to download any software to try and recover the file but I did find a trick that worked and it worked and it was very very easy but I had to do it on my PC. So when I got back from the flight I put the SD card in the uh, reader pull the files over to my computer and as you can see this happened. The disk you inserted is not readable by the computer. Uh, the only option you have is to format the disk and wipe off all the files. However, when the first time I put the, the USB card in the computer, when I first recognized the fact that there was one, car, one file that hadn't finished writing, I seen all the files. I, I actually watched a few of the files um, and previewed them. It wasn't until I put it back into the drone to try and get it to finish writing that file that I had problems. When I first put the card in the computer, you can see here that there's five files. Four of them were, um, were playable and I actually watched the four of them and the fifth one was not. My battery went into critical low mode before I landed. I landed the bird. I likely shut it off in all the excitement without pressing stop on the record button. I know, rookie mistake. But this is clearly showing that it's not fully written to the, the USB card. So the solution in these cases is you put that SD card back into the, into the Mini 2, turn the Mini 2 on, it'll actually finish writing that file, shut the Mini 2 off, and you're off to the races. I've done it a lot. In this case here though, when I put it back in the Mini 2, I thought I'd do a little firmware update on the bird. I let that go, and I think that's what corrupted the SD card. So, how do I fix it? I've tried to put this card into a PC as well, and it still doesn't recognize the card. I'm gonna go grab my PC. To fix the drive, we're going to insert it into the PC and then we're going to go to our Windows and the X button. That'll bring up this menu and we want to open up Windows PowerShell. Then we're going to go, when this opens up, it's similar to Terminal on a Mac. Uh, CHK DSK Check the disk. We know the disk is E colon and then we're going to say forward slash and we're going to pick R for repair. Press enter and let it do its thing. The, the drive is flashing as you can see here, but you want to let it finish totally restoring the file allocations before you pull that drive out. It does say 100% complete, but you can see the drive is not done yet. This will take longer if you have more files on that drive. So I'm not expecting this to take a whole lot of time. Once the drive stops flashing, you can eject it and then we'll put it back in the MacBook and see if we have some success. Okay, you can see the blue light is now solid. We can uh, now open up the drive, just make sure we see some files on here. And there we go, our folders have come up. There's all of our files, just like we thought. 
So we're just going to eject this drive. We're going to move it over to the MacBook. And there we go. We can now see the files that are in this folder. And we can preview all the files that we shot last night. So it's very, very good time. That's the, that's the corrupt one that wasn't playing at all. And then we can go through all the other ones here. And everything is absolutely perfect. That is how you fix your card not recognized, card not readable when you're using a DJI Mini 2. Maybe it's on the, some of the other DJI products as well. Hopefully this video helped you out. I have a lot more drone stuff coming your way. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit like if this video helped you. And also tap the bell notification if you want to see more. Now let's get out and do some shots.